In part one of estimating the population mean, we decided that the central limit theorem applies to our problem. And therefore, we can take our sampling distribution of x bars and we can partition it off in the following manner to uh, uh, include 98% of the area under this normal curve. And therefore, 0.49 uh, is 49% uh, is here and 49% is here. Now, since we know that 0 .4, uh, 0 0.49 is here and 0 0.49 is here, we can look this up in the Z table and we can find that this distance from here to here is 2.33 standard deviations. Since we know that one standard deviation, we've calculated earlier, is 0 0.0065, we can simply multiply 0 0.0065 times the number of standard deviations and we get 0 0.01515 ounces. So this distance is 0 0.01515 ounces. Notice this, that we, we realize that we're 98 percent confident that uh, if we take a sample of size 800, uh, that its X bar will lie within 2.33 standard deviations of the mean that we're actually looking for, mu. And uh, we've also figured out within uh, 0.01515 ounces as well as 2.33 standard deviations. So here's our situation. We are 98% confident that our X bar, 31.78 ounces, will be within uh, op 0.01515 ounces of the population mean mu, right here, mu. We can turn this around and say that we are 98% confidence that the interval 31.75 plus or minus 0.01515 contains the population mean. When written in interval notation, it looks like this, 31.73 ounces, comma 31.77 ounces, which is our 98% confidence interval. Conclusion, we are 98% confident that the mean weight of all cereal boxes is between 31.73 and 31.77 ounces.